so i have since discovered we're actually okay to still go down and ride we have to keep our tack with us in the car so i have to bring my tack with me i can't leave it at the yard um which is fine i completely don't mind that i'm happy to do that i understand why and what it means is i can keep riding i can keep her moving keep her in work and it's a good sort of stress relief and it helps with my mental health ridiculously and it's really helping get me out the house at the minute because I am struggling. So this is something I found out since filming the earlier part of the video. And I just thought I'd include it just to make sure like I don't sound like a dick saying all this stuff when um, the situation has changed at the minute. Okay, so I know I haven't vlogged in a while. Um, I meant to do a vlog before I went to Spain. And then I went to Spain and then we had a bit of hassle trying to get out of Spain. And I've been on quarantine ever since. Um, well, not quarantine, it's self-isolation. Um, I am going to do a vlog on that because it's kind of important. But uh, it's going to be a, a little bit of time before I get that done. Um, instead, like this is my first week without Kevin staying here because he stayed here for a week before he went back to his place just to, you know, make sure he had a week symptom free first. Um, I am symptom free. I've had a little bit of a runny nose, a little bit of a dry throat, but uh, Kevin brought a dog here and I'm actually allergic to animals and animal hair. Um, and I'm fine in my room at the minute. I'm fine with antihistamines and all. But uh, when I go in here, as the dog has been, I do start like playing up a bit again. So it looks like it's just allergies, thankfully. Um, in terms of my mental health, I'm kind of a bit worried. I need to pick up more of my antidepressants and I'm going to need more of my ADD meds soon. College being online as well doesn't help me because I struggle a lot with that kind of learning. Um, and I've let deadlines like get ahead of me and it's kind of worrying too because I don't know when I'm going to get them done. I kind of can't get into that mindset at the minute. But anyway, that's for a different vlog today. I thought I'd make a bit of a fun vlog because it's Tina's birthday soon. So she's going to be 10 on the 3rd of April. I thought she was older, I thought she was already 10, but 10's kind of a big birthday, so we're gonna get her something special. Um, I don't know if I'll get to see her on April 3rd, so I'm gonna get it for her now and hopefully be able to get it up to her before April. I'm not sure if the yard she's at, if they're planning to stay open or not, which is why um, I can't be sure. Um, as well, Kevin is gonna get her something for her birthday too. I think he wants to get her some treats or a salt lick or something like that which is nice. So yeah, let's do a bit of birthday shopping. Um, this is gonna be good fun. I'm not quite sure what I wanna get her. So I'm sat on the floor. Tina's present is here. It is in those boxes there. I am gonna do an unboxing just cause why not? So let's get started. It all came from right away in the end. There's a few things I decided against buying and it is really, really heavy. So let's start with the small box, which is really heavy. I think I know what's in this one. So I'm glad I didn't take all my nails off. I took some of them are coming off. Probably all be off by the end of this. And see if I can get into these boxes. The answer is probably no. Okay, here we go, all right. So in here we have, and this is why it's so heavy, her salt lick, which is the three kilogram one, I think. No, it is 4.8 to 5.2 kilogram approximately. So hopefully that'll last her a bit. All right, and then next we have the big box which is considerably lighter. I hope everything is in this because there's still possibly more stuff to come for her. It should be here at some point today. So let's see. Also, let's just get him behind me, ignore him. All right, so in here we have Omega Treats. They are perfect size. 
Another bag of treats. Another bag of treats, which is mint, carrot, and mint and herb healthy treats. And then a big bag of the apple horse mix as well. I didn't get her the Leo vet treats in the end. And then I have her treat ball. There is more stuff coming for her. I don't know when it will get here because it should be here at some point today as well. And I haven't heard anything to say when it will be delivered. But um, once that gets here, I'll open that too. And I'm going to go see her once the other stuff gets here because the rest of her birthday present and it was the more expensive part but for the minute we have her ball Let's see if i can get it open to show i'm really excited to see what she makes of this because she's either gonna love it or she's gonna hate it i know what she's like um so she has that's it there it's just the hexagon one and it only has the one sock for treats and um, the other one I had for Barney something in it I think the other one I had for Barney had two slots um I think it's just a bit of plastic in it um Barney's had two slots because he had the Dobbs or the Stubbs one at home which is at home somewhere but uh, with the lockdown I can't get home to get it for her and I thought it'd be nice for her to have like her own one um, I think I can see a little bit of plastic in it. It's making a noise. So I'm going to try and get that out because obviously I don't want her eating plastic. But um, yeah, that's what she's got so far. And um, the rest of the stuff, the delivery date was today. Right away are usually really good. Um, like I've had stuff for them which has come early before. Um, so I'm expecting it to be here today. But... Um, I'm not sure there were two separate orders but placed on the same day um, she arrived today so the other one might just be here but later on I'll have to wait and see and yeah uh, when that stuff comes I'll unbox that because there's a little bit more still to go okay our final box is here um, it's a bigger one it arrived probably close to it's what after two no, it's nearly two and the other stuff arrived at like around half ten. Uh, my nails are all off at this point as well, they're just falling off. So I pulled them off, which if you ever have gels done, don't do. And let's have a look and see what's in here for Tina. As this is the last of her birthday present. And there's something in here for me, or there should be at least anyway, because treat yourself. So we have, first of all, this, it is one of the Weather Beta, the new range of the telepods. I've seen the ones that are like the all pink and the all blue, but I like this because it's got like the pink blue gradient. So she now has a rainbow one, a burgundy one, her plum limo one, and her gorgeous bow question one, which is one of my favorites on her and um, we then have these which I'll show you because they look a bit odd in here they are stirrup covers because my stirrups I don't want them catching on my saddle because it's a new saddle and it's growing so the marks show up a bit easier on it then have one of these this is partly for her partly for me I have really bad joints and this is massage mitt so I can use that on myself and also on Tina depending on how spoiled I want her to be today um so I might actually leave this one at home to use it for my shoulders so with that I completely forgot I got that I then have these they might be a bit big on her I'll have to try them on her and see I reckon they'll be fine. I know they might be a bit big. She's quite big feet. So she has overreach boots in this cool, I think it's called like Pacific Island pattern, which anyone who knows me will know that that's pretty much up my street. It actually does match the stirrup covers here. They're the same pattern. 
they are by QHP. I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. I just bought them because I was buying my horse stuff. So they hopefully will fit her. They might be a little bit big. Um, I'll not know till I try them on her. Barney, I think, was a large to medium, and I think she's probably about the same size in terms of feet. She doesn't really need overreach boots, but sometimes when she is starting to go forward, I can hear her, um, you know, like knocking against herself. And then finally, a treat for myself. Um, new pair of breeches. Because they were reduced in price to like 40 quid. And so it's a pair of burgundy Dublin breeches. Hopefully that will fit me. Um, they have the full silicon seat as well. I'm just going to try this to check. So there's this thing someone told me, and you can believe it or not, it is, I find it to be true, where if you get a pair of trousers or skirt or whatever, you wrap it around your neck, and if you can get it to like overlap in the front of your neck, it should fit. So we'll see with these. I've used it on jeans and stuff, and I have found it to work. My hair is getting in the way at the minute, so let's see. Will these fit? Um, it's gonna be a bit tight, but I'd say, you know, they should fit, which is good because they're well, they're big size, but they're kind of a bit smaller than I'd usually take in breeches. Um, so we'll see if they fit or not, and go and see Tina a bit later. It might be one of the last times I can get down to Ryder. I'm not sure what's happening yet. I'll know later on. But um, that's her 10th birthday present. She got a lot of stuff because she's spoiled. But I uh, love her anyway. So these are the breeches. They're a little bit tight on me. Um, partly because, you know, have I been really exercising? And currently in, you know, that full quarantine. Eat all the snacks mode, but they're comfy. They were cheap and I like them. Okay, let's see if this does its job. There you go. What's wrong, Tina? You not get them out. She's a bit more careful than Barney. Barney would have played football. She's not sure on it, is she? No, I think she's lost interest for the minute. I can tell you she'll be back over in a second. Hey! What's in that? Nope, she's like, hey, it's easier.
Well, I think it's fair to say she probably is the biggest fan of the treat ball. She has been kind of playing with it a little bit, but um, being Tina, she's more interested in getting her treats from the humans. So she'll chase you around the stable, even though it's got treats in it. And there's still treats in it from when she got it in the other day. She has tried to bite it. Of course, she's tried to bite it um, and see if she can like eat the treat ball. Um, and I think she's lost interest because she's realized you can't actually eat plastic, unfortunately. But it's something for her to play with if she ever decides she wants to anyway. And something she can have fun with, especially at the minute, with everything changing at the drop of a hat. And that's all you can really ask. But I do miss having a horse that would play football with me the way Barney used to because that was so much fun.